what's up, Snail? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital And today we're going to be blasting Australia's incinerated, lobotomized, fucking total mortician worship. Fuck. Yes, this is so goddamn good on Night Rhythm Records. This is the second press, limited to 100 copies. If you can get your hands on this fucking slab of savagery, do it. Trust me, if you're a fan of Mortician and you're not just some trendy fucking fanboy with cargo shorts, then you're going to fucking love Incinerated. Get rid of the samples and take mortician in a less campy direction yeah this is some gnarly gnarly stuff right here crushing one of the heaviest records i have incinerated lobotomize fuck yeah and speaking of fuck yeah time for some caligari records chaos I have to thank Caligari Records so fucking much for sending a package my way. I I love when I randomly get some Caligari goods in the mail and I'm so fucking stoked right here because all I've been seeing is people talking about how good this demo is and I could have told you how good this demo was the moment I heard it. It's just, it doesn't count unless it's in my hands and... Here it is, and that is Undeath Sentient Auto Lysis. Fucking A. I thought the 2019 demo was like the bee's knees. Oh no. Undeath were like, we're going to write some even gnarlier songs on our next demo. Sentient Auto Lithus. It's fucking amazing. This Rochester, New York trio absolutely loves Cannibal Corpse. But imagine if Cannibal Corpse first veered their ugly head in 2019. Chances are they would sound a hell of a lot like Undeath. This is so fucking good. Sentient Autolysis is one of those demos that is absolutely essential listening. Has some of the best promo photos in the game right now. Like, seriously? <laughs> like, whoever's idea these promo photos were, fuck yeah. Like, you are the man slash woman just Wow. But this is just so goddamn good. And you have four tracks of just enhancing the dead. Serious. It, it's fucking awesome. Do you like death metal? Then you like undeath. Trust me. Sentient Autolysis is a goddamn modern death metal demo gem. This is one of those demos that in 20 years, people will be spending like $50 to get their hands on a copy of. I really hope they put both Undeath demos onto an LP, but fingers crossed, but hopefully that does happen. I'm just looking to see who did the artwork here because it's great, and the art is actually by the drummer, Matt Browning. Awesome job, Matt. I just think it's fucking sick. Everything about it is sick. And as much as I loved the 2019 demo, Sentient Auto Lysis just... It's so fucking good. I, I can't get enough of this. Like, seriously, since yesterday, this has been fighting for, like, dominance on my cassette deck with this next bad boy, which is just... Holy shit. Like... Seriously, holy shit is all I have to say about Ritual Laceration and Demo Number 1. 
fucking so gnarly. This is six tracks of some of the most utterly savage, vicious slabs of bestial black death that I've heard so far in 2019. And I've heard some gnarly fucking war metal and whatnot, but Ritual Laceration have something that a lot of these other bands don't. And it's not only super unsettling, noisy, nasty, and just fucking vicious. It has this vibe to it that starts with um, Paradition Absolution and goes all the way to Biocide Sect. I feel like within each song, it gets crazier and crazier and crazier until it's just like, what the fuck? fuck is going on this is sick and ritual laceration bring the fucking sickness here with demo number one i can't recommend this enough if you're a fan of any sort of bestial black death metal out there you are going to devour this so fucking nasty but like if you're looking for some like revenge clone you're looking in the wrong place. Ritual Laceration is pretty much as real and just as gnarly as the genre gets when it comes to the music. It's like Neltrot went fucking swimming in some sewage. It's fucking sick. Ritual Laceration Demo 1. Wow. Wow. I legit was at a loss of words for this when I first heard it. I was just like... Oh! Like, their poor drummer! But lastly, and... This goes along with it. Thank you, Steve, at Sea to Doom Records. Soon we'll be going over the Devoid of Thought in the Coffin split 7-inch. Devoid of Thought for Cerulean Ways. Great track. This comes with a poster, clear 7-inch, and two awesome cosmic death metal songs. I love In the Coffin, but Devoid of Thought, double-sided poster. And we have a new demo from Devoid of Thought. I can't wait for them to come out with a full length, and definitely looking forward to hearing what they are going to sound like on a full length. But here we have Cosmic Apotesis by Devoid of Thought. Amazing, amazing artwork. This band is so fucking good. From the Astral Necrosis demo to uh, Cosmic Apotesis. Devoid of Thought has done no wrong since day one. I, I think they got the name of their one demo from an old Blood Incantation email address, but that's no big deal. When you have a track called Necronaut, Tomb Marauder's Horde, and Stargrave, I think you love Blood Incantation a little bit to begin with, but Devoid of Thought just have a sound of their own completely. Like, yes, there's some obvious influences of Demi-Lick, Time Ghoul, Blood Incantation, etc. But this also sounds a lot like Blood Soaked Necrovoid. And that's probably because it does share a member, if, I am, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure here. I do get both bands confused. As they do kind of have similar logos and share a label. But the Void of Thought here absolutely killed it with Cosmic Apotesis. Like, Necronaut is one of the sickest songs, and so Stargrave. And Tomb Marauder's Horde is a badass track as well. This was recorded at Andrea's Cave and is fucking awesome. The front cover artwork is by Manuscript of Death. I would love that on a t-shirt. It's just fucking sick. The Cosmic Apotesis Demo. Fuck yes. Awesome, awesome cosmic death metal. 
And that's what Caligari sent over, and Seed of Doom Records sent over the 7 inch. Sick, sick shit. And we were blasting some incinerated lobotomize from Australia, hailing from Austin, Texas, Night Rhythms Records. Great, great shit right here. Get into it if you're a fan of Mortician. Not Mortician memes. More fucking Titian. Will and Roger. But thank you, Caligari Records. Both of these three cassettes have a very, very good home. And they've been getting blasted constantly. Thank you. And thank you, sickos at home, for watching. You fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>